Hello there, Antoine. All right, great to see you taking action and writing essays. That's the best way to pass, obviously. This is the fastest way you can improve is by writing essays and getting feedback. So let's go. Winning new markets through advertisement through advertising in foreign countries can be seen as an aggression by the targeted people. That is very smart there that you have um, identified and separate for the receiving and the sending. Is a lot of students um, don't really clarify that and so it's unclear who is being the aggressor, who is doing the invading and who's doing the receiving. So excellent point there. Some others support what could be a better conjunction here? I believe while, and you'd have got more points as well. You'd have said while other experts or while others or while economists or while numerous economists support the idea that this is also a positive opportunity that brings new points of views or brings new perspectives maybe or brings, I want to say bring up, uh, brings up new points Maybe, but brings is fine. It brings new points of views and could even raise the knowledge in econom, econom, economics as a subject or even raise the knowledge in economies more, I think is more likely. In my opinion, although some aggressive practices could harm people, spreading ideas is most of the time beneficial. Beautiful. Excellent. Now, very, very good way. Very uh, clearly laid out. Um could improve the grammar in some areas and possibly even the vocabulary but what is essential is some of the grammar uh, yeah some basic grammar points which you probably could catch yourself with a detailed sort of like self-check anyway in order to gain new customers an international camp company will use powerful marketing means to convince potential buyers will often or will most likely or will possibly okay this is called hedging and this is um, yeah, for band seven or above, you definitely need to be using hedging. And basically, you avoid sweeping generalizations because this sentence says that the entire, every, the, on the entire, in the entire world, all international companies will use powerful marketing. It's not the case. Some will use soft marketing, some will use zero marketing, so on and so forth. This is sometimes done. Right, two words here, which are very basic. We've already, I'm sure we've, I don't know, we said some some sometimes so your vocabulary could definitely be in for uh, improved and done okay this is often performed or this is often executed according to habits in use where the company has its headquarters okay therefore people living in the targeted country could be upset and feel uncomfortable with the advertisement campaign okay beautiful excellent excellent sentence like I said, if we can improve the vocabulary, that would be fine. Just uh, that, or as you heard, it needs to be headquarters. Um, therefore, people living, what could we say instead of people, consumers, yeah, could be upset and feel uncomfortable with the advertisement campaign. Beautiful. Okay, excellent point there. Very clear. For example, in Western culture, scantily dressed women are used to sell goods. Um, right, the problem with this example it's, it's, it's okay, but I prefer if you'd have said something like, for example, in 1980, Coca-Cola used um, scantily dressed women to sell um, so its soft drink to the Indian market, full stop. However, there was uproar because the Indian market is rather conservative and Coca-Cola soon had to withdraw the marketing campaign. You see? And this is sort of like specific. I don't know if that's true, but it did sound true and that's fine. And it's basically backing up your point that you've made before. Um, so good. This could shock more traditional people and make them feel under threat as this could weaken important values such as respect towards women. Okay, not too bad. Um, got some good vocabulary there. It's clear and we've used a condition as well. So that's excellent. Um, we could just definitely enrich our example. By the way, you're following a very goose, uh, very clear structure for your paragraph. It does seem a little bit basic. We have clear structures like this, but we've built on them. So you're forced to use like higher level vocabulary. 
and structures. On the other hand, our world is constantly changing and the pace of that change is increasing. So you see, we've got this kind of repetition again. And the pace, uh, let's see, I'm sure you could rephrase this. You see, you could have just said, on the other hand, um, the pace of change in our world is rapidly increasing. Okay, because if something's rapidly increasing, it's changing. So that makes this word redundant. And redundancy is what we want to eliminate in order to make our essay sound more, uh, well, it's basically closer to the academic literary standard, which is what we're aiming for when we are writing our IELTS essay. Um, so this is an advanced technique. I love working with students when we're talking about improving the essays rather than just correcting them. It, um, it's the f improvement is considerably faster as well. It's much easier to adopt these techniques that I'm sharing with you <clears throat> than to learn entire new grammar rules, for example. To be able to cope with that, these changes, people must adapt and develop themselves. Also, we're not really being specific here. What changes, we said it's constantly changing. What are the changes? By the way, that's another technique we include. It's like topic specific vocabulary. We add a list. It's constantly changes <clears throat> due to technology, um, biomedicine, and I don't know, blockchain. So, yeah, um, we could be, even just mentioning technology would have helped you here because we just get a little bit more specific. But I do like your mix of medium sentences, long sentences, and short sentences. That's excellent. You've got to keep that, Antoine. That shows a nice stylistic element. Being in contact with news ideas through international marketing will bring fresh points of view and challenge existing habits. Okay, so news ideas means news as in BBC, CNN, and all that. But I guess you wanted to say being in contact with new ideas through international marketing will bring fresh points of view. Okay, also again, we've got to hedge there will most likely or could definitely bring, okay? Moreover, watching an international advertisement in a foreign language will increase language skills, the language skills, or their language skills. Um, so not bad, it just seems a little bit vague, okay? This is when you need an example, like this isn't too bad, but this is where an example of something like, um, for example, when McDonald's launched in Russia, and then X, Y, Z, okay? And then you give me a real world specific example. Throughout history, throughout history, countries open to commercial exchanges have shown a raise in their educational and cultural levels thanks to the opportunities that foreign cultures have had brought to the, or brought to the inhabitants is the correct way. So we just get rid of that had. Okay, so we do need to review your use of tenses, okay? Um, also, your essay writing skills um, and some, um, through more feedback, we can help you with your language skills. So we'll say something like, Antoine, work on singular plural uh, agreement, work on your tenses, check out this resource. Uh, but you're definitely going to benefit once you get hold of the structure we use. Um, we'll see a big improvement in your work there. I would put this probably at a 6.5 at the moment, and I think you could probably push for a seven with our course. And if you've got 6.5 before and you've got the certificate, we can guarantee we'll get you to a seven. Okay, to conclude, the challenges and the opportunities that international marketing bring to foreign countries outweigh the risks of distributing traditional people. Yeah, distributing, that means something very, very, very disturb oh, disturbing. I'm reading it. Sorry, my mistake on time, it's late. To conclude, the challenges and the opportunities that international marketing bring to foreign countries weigh the risk of disturbing traditional people. Okay, not too bad. A little bit brief, perhaps. Um, but we've got a set structure for you to follow for your conclusions as well, which makes it simpler. So looking by the quality of your ideas and your excellent task response, so many students write about international trade. You've written about actual global marketing uh, so attached response is fantastic your vocabulary is exceptional there is room for improvement it'll be easy to improve as well but moreover 
um, we're looking at cohesion and coherence, which could definitely score higher for um, with the structure, and we could definitely give you more feedback as well. So good work. Let's move on to your next one. All right, let's have a look at your academic task one. This line graph illustrates how much money was earned each year by the company Facebook between 2007 and 2014. The units are in million US dollars. Beautiful. Overall, benefits of the company increased almost constantly during the studied period. Benefits, I'm guessing you're from a, a, by your name, maybe French. Anyway, um, benefits, beneficios in Spanish is profits, but it doesn't really, benefits in English is just a plus. There's nothing to do with the company, so be careful there. It's a false friend, I guess. Overall, the profits of the company increased almost constantly during the study, study period, although that trend did not occur in 2012. Okay, good. It's nice to see the exceptions there. Important to notice that the company lost money during the first two years. Beautiful. Good work. Um, both in 2008, the company faced losses of respectively. No, review your use of respectively. Faced losses of, yeah, respectively usually goes at the end. Um, so we'd say something like, um, Facebook lost uh, 130 and 56 million um, over the years 2007, 2008 respectively. Okay, but I would research how to use respectively because that's a very useful term, but we just didn't get it perfect. Since 2009, with the benefit of two, with a profit of 229 million, when a benefit, sorry, the numbers raised constantly to reach 1 billion in 2011. Then the technological company experienced a stop in its growth with a reduced net of net income of 53 million in the year 2012. Good. After that, the numbers grew sharply to reach 1.5 billion in 2013. 2014, the benefit, the profit almost doubled and hit 2.9 billion. Excellent. Good. So that's the kind of vocabulary we definitely want to include in our academic task one. The slope, the slope of the growth was more significant after. No, the rate of growth was more significant, or even better, the rate of growth was significantly stronger after the year uh, twenty twelve. Okay, so there's some mild, modest improvements um, for your academic task one. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I saw this as well because this it basically um, confirms that I think. You should get a seven, especially with more feedback. Um, just pointing you in the right direction and picking up, identifying little problems like this that you got respectively. Um, we should have used maybe the superlatives, reached its maximum, reached its minimum, you know. Um, these help with the points, with these help with your know, grammatical range and accuracy score. But overall, Anton, this is good work. Um, and I think for more feedback, you could definitely continue improving. So if you join us in the next 48 hours, we can give you two extra corrections for free. And you'll also get a $50 discount as well. So I definitely have a look at your inbox for that. And hopefully we'll see you on the course. And it'll either be Daphne or Ellen who will continue with the corrections. So yeah, hope to see you on this course. And um, good luck with your IELTS exam.